Well, yeah, this this king of swords could be somebody that's in a justice system, somebody that, you know, is a police officer, could be an undercover cop, or somebody that's, you know, been investigating them for fraudulent activities that they have been doing in the past. And as they started doing something to this person, this emperor, somebody that's a divine being, it came back on them. And they probably don't even know, you know, behind the scenes. Yeah, Tower is here. They're getting ready to go through a lot of, you know, destruction. Like they wanted to cause for someone else, Tower. So they wanted to cause a Tower moment in this person's life over and over and over again because they could not get this person under a spell. They could not get this person to be stuck at the Eight of Swords, bound, chained to them, to this toxic person, that's the devil. And this person is on their way to jail, Eight of Swords. Because they haven't been watched by this investigator. They're getting ready to go through a tower moment. King of Swords, Tower, and Eight of Swords. They're getting ready to go through a tower moment. Yeah, Eight of Swords, and then the Hangman is here. They're, they're stuck in the situation facing jail time. Just like they went and did whatever they did to this person to betray them, to have them feeling stuck because they couldn't get them under a spell. It backfired and reversed on them. Yeah, King of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and Nine of Swords. Well, Knight of Cups. This person wants to reconnect with you. Whatever this person did to try to confuse this person, it didn't work. Whatever they did to try to slow this person down, it didn't work. Justice is still being served. And this person didn't know that they were under investigation this whole time. Yeah, they could have been trying to get this person's Ten of Pentacles. They tried to get a whole bunch of money from this person. They could have stole something. They could have stole, you know, some inheritance or something that, you know, money that this person had that they didn't even know about. And it was, you know, quickly... This is like quick exposure, eight of wands. But yeah, this person got exposed quick. They could have got exposed all over the internet amongst their community where they are for being a scam artist or somebody that, you know, had an STD. So they got exposed quick. They could have, this person could have got a text message. They could have seen a whole bunch of stuff online or on social media. And it had this person being exposed at the nine of swords. They were sitting back in their head at a mental prison after they sat back doing this stuff over and over and over again, trying to manipulate this person, trying to place a spell over them. And it just didn't work. It just kept backfiring and backfiring and backfiring. And now this person at the nine of swords, this toxic person, a mental prison in their head, trying to figure a situation out as they didn't know they had to place whatever they wanted to send out on their self. You cannot manifest as you're in the reverse with the musician in the reverse. It creates blockages for you, not anyone else. So they, whatever spell they wanted to cast on this person, they cast it around them. And they were getting exposed. Slander, gossip, sleepless nights, getting exposed for everything they had did in the dark by different people in the community on top of this investigator watching them, collecting evidence. Yeah, judgment is here. The situation is being balanced out. This person is sitting back going through karma, judgment. For everything that they had did wrong. They're under judgment. And they're finally being judged. Because they had, they had, the reason why they were so comfortable doing it is because they were used to doing it over and over and over again. Not to just this person, but multiple people that they had been attached to in the past. Yeah, the sun is here. A lot of stuff was being illuminated. Secrets came out. A lot of stuff was revealed. Everything came to light with this sun card. Yeah, including the people that this person was working with behind the scenes at the Three of Pentacles. They were exposed because they did. They backstabbed this person and betrayed this person with multiple people. So not only is this person under investigation, but people that were helping them behind the scenes at the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they were all sitting back at the Five of Wands. They got a whole bunch of conflict going on. As they sat back at the five of ones, thought they were sending drama and conflict to this person. 
Now they're all going through conflict behind the scenes, probably fighting each other, arguing with each other. As this person had them casted a conflict spell amongst their self and the people that they're attached to. They had them casted all these different spells over and over again on their own self and the people that they were building behind the scenes with. They were sitting back trying to one up a person. Secretly compete with a person. They could have sat back and tried to secretly compete with you. Found out they couldn't compete with you. And they got even more bad. More mad. Clicked up with people behind the scenes. And all this is under investigation. Yeah. Yeah, in the past, Six of Cups. As I said, the events that they took, you know, did in the past, things that took place in the past, they're under investigation for something that happened in the past prior to them messing over this emperor or trying to cast spells on this emperor. Just so happened, just so happened the police was watching them for something that they did in the past. Because as I said, this person has come off as a queen of pentacles, but they're a scam artist, somebody that's toxic, binded to bad habits. So justice is being served for whatever situation that they wrap this emperor up in. It was seen. Yeah, it was seen. Yeah, this popped out twice. Ten of Cups and King of Pentacles. They could have sat back and used um, this person's family to help them with this Ten of Cups. They could have had a father figure in their family helping them do all of this with this King of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. Yeah, and they're all under investigation because of this person. Yeah, Five of Swords in the reverse Ace of Cups. So this could have been their father and their family who did this. And this also could have been this Emperor's family, you know? They could have gotten close or attached to this person's family or people that they were attached to. And they, you know, kept them close as this person isolated their self from them just to find out what this person had going on. And this emperor didn't know that he had two-faced people around him calculating his every step and his every move and his every, you know, idea or whatever he wanted to do to this person that he hadn't cut off. Yeah, because this emperor started loving herself, Ace of Cups, started taking care of herself and finally showing herself some love. And then five of swords in the reverse. The, this, this person did not know that these people would be sitting back envious, jealous, and mad. And wanted to defeat them, wanted to sabotage them. Because they were finally taking care of themselves and showing themselves, you know, some self-care. Because before they weren't, they didn't know their worth. They had them been through something. They thought it was okay to sit back and go through the same thing over and over again. You know, laying down with these women that were not a one's energies. But this person could not, they could not sabotage this person. They could not sabotage the connection that this person want with you because this person is at the Ace of Cups. They overall started taking care of themselves, loving themselves, cleansing their energy and healing. Yeah, King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. This person has a heavy passion, you know, to go towards the things that they want out of life. And they made a decision that they know what they want out of life. They had to go through all this, though, after, you know, experiencing all this. This, this person has confidence now. King of Wands. And then the Fool card is here. They have confidence to take a leap of faith towards you. To speak their emotions. Could just be taking a leap of faith towards, you know, new ventures in life. A new career path. But it could be towards you as the three of cups on the bottom of the deck. This could have been a friend of yours, you know. And it was a secret that they were in love with you. You didn't know this whole time. And they never said it to you. That's why you didn't know. And they want to reconnect and reconcile with you. They want to come towards you with this fool car and take... You know, it, take a leap of faith and express the way they feel about you. Because it was always a secret. You never knew. You never even knew that this person was in love with you. Yeah, three of cups. 
And then Seven of Swords, this, this toxic person was at the Seven of Swords, being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes and stealing from this person. And this was just, you know, possibly just a friend of yours and you seen this person moving funny that they were in a relationship with or attached to and you kind of, you know, spoke the truth to this person. This person could have went back and said something to the person or this person could have just found out. You could have sent a text message to this, this person and let this person know like, hey, they, they, you know, just overall talking to this person about the situation. They could have confided into you as they seen you as somebody that was, a, you know, like a spiritual advisor, motivational speaker. So they confided in you and told you something about this person. You told them that that wasn't good for them. And this person jumped at the nine of wands doing stuff without thinking it through and was trying to cast spells over this person because they wanted to try to, you know, be at the seven of swords, sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes and was trying to steal something from this person or was stealing from this person. And this also could mean that this person is sitting back trying to strategize this, you know, friend of yours. And they don't want to be, you know, they don't want it to be in their head anymore, a secret of how they feel about you. Because they look at you as somebody that's a queen of cups. Loving, caring, if you have kids, you take care of your kids. You're somebody that's emotionally mature, you're balanced out with your emotions. You're not all over the place. Yeah, and they look at you as somebody that's gifted as well. You have gifts and talents with this queen of cups. And then Nine of Cups, they look at you as wish fulfillment at the Nine of Cups. And they overall know what they want. Three of Wands, they made a decision to come towards you, but they just, at the Seven of Swords, trying to strategize how they can get to you. Queen of Cups. Yeah, because they hold you in high honor, Six of Wands. They could feel like you're going to reject them at the Four of Cups. Seven of Wands and Ten of Wands. Yeah, they don't want to feel, you know, they want to lay down whatever pressure or whatever had been weighing on them. The secret of them being in love with you. They want to lay that down. Ten of Wands in the reverse. They don't want to feel burdened. They don't want to feel pressure. They don't want to feel, you know, all this weight on them. And they don't want to be blocked out from you. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, they don't want to be blocked out from you. And then Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck, they're, you know, very attracted to you. And Four of Cups is here. Yeah, they're very attracted to you, but they could feel like they're going to be rejected. Yeah, they could feel like they want to be rejected. They're going to be rejected, maybe because they have been at the Page of Cups, emotionally immature, not knowing how to express the way they felt towards you. Yeah. Yeah. Because of this Empress in the reverse and this Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. This is somebody that, you know, could have used after they couldn't place this spell on this person. They sat back and this person found out that because this person is overall a prostitute with this Nine of Pentacles. They're codependent to the devil addictions and worse and people's time, money and energy. So this person has sex with people to get money. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse because they can't stand on their own two feet. They're not stable. They're not abundant by their self. And they're somebody that don't like to be alone. They don't mind their own business. They always got some stuff going on, got gossip going on. This person just draining. And this person could have sat back and after they couldn't get this person under a spell, the Empress in the reverse, this person tried to make it seem like they was pregnant by this person. And that didn't work. This person is finding out that they was this person was codependent and sat back and tried to use them and trap them with a baby after the magic or the lust spell that they tried to place on them did not work. And this person is finding out that, that the baby ain't even there. Air percent of reverse. I'm so done.